one of the most talked about products for 2016 has to be SRAM's new Eagle group set. And as you can see, I've just been given a group set to test. This is it. Okay, so what you get in the box is um, SRAM's new 1050 tooth cassette, the new chain set with x 2 chain ring, new derailleur, the dedicated 12 speed shifter, and the key component to making it all work is the new 12 speed chain. Okay, so there's a lot going on, and um, to help me fit it to this frame behind me, I've asked Alex Rafferty from SRAM to come and show you how it all goes together. So as you know, the, uh, you know, every part of the Eagle drivetrain is specifically designed around the, you know, the Eagle, Eagle group set as a whole. So the cranks are, you know, it's a brand new carbon crank, yeah. the chain ring, the cassette, the rear derailleur, the shifter, everything is, uh, is, is one, one big group set. Um, there's not really a, a cross compatibility area. The only thing is that the BB is the same, isn't it? As GXP standard? Yeah, it's a standard GXP yeah. B, threaded BB on this, this particular setup. XX1 and X01, where you know we've differentiated between the two group sets in that XX1 is our cross country, X01 is our trail all mountain. Yeah. The difference in the crank set itself, both carbon crank sets, XX1 crank set is a hollow carbon crank set, so it's a little bit lighter. Yeah. And X01 has a uh, a cord crank set, so it's um, a little, a tiny, small amount more weight to it, but. Ultimately, it's pretty similar. So the X01 rear derailleur, Eagle rear derailleur, fits in the same way as a 11-speed rear derailleur would fit onto the bike. Um, slight, slight improvement on the rear derailleur itself. There's a, a, a profile on the inside there that sits against the, the, the derailleur hanger itself just to give it a, a better match and orientation. So when you're putting this on, you just make sure that as we tighten up into position that the, the derailleur is orientated correctly on the derailleur hanger itself. Yeah. What I would normally do now is actually set the set the limiting screws, just just get our, our range of movement on okay. the on the rear derailleur itself, so we know how far it's coming into its yeah. highest gear and all the way over into its do lowest you, gear as well. Do you well. set those before you fit the cable? In? I just get it into the right position, roughly. All oh, right, okay. You know, you don't necessarily have to get it bang on because it's still going to make a difference once the chain's on and you shift in on the yeah, power. Yeah, of course. So I think to start with, you know, I just I just kind of eye up that my you know my in my highest gear there that that's in the right position and when I when I open the rear derailleur and I just move it across into that position I know that I'm not going too far I just don't want to drop the chain down into the wheel yeah. when I'm setting it up so well, not on an expensive set of wheels you? well yeah. you know you know x01 eagle gear shifter now it's obviously it's a an increased mechanism in there to to account for the 12 gears that we've yeah. got there so um and it is a an improved gear shifter mechanism as well in itself. It's a little bit smoother, a little bit crisper. Okay. You might find from the last, from, from our previous technology. Yeah. Again, just like on pre our XX1 drivetrain from four years ago, cable, cable kind of sits in the same way. Yeah. So straight in around the little roller wheel. Again, and just make sure when we're putting it into here that we're in the highest gear so the cable's fully fully out if you will yeah so a chain that's specific to the eagle drive drivetrain again um you know in order to get those 12 12 gears in there the chain is slightly narrower uh, and the teeth the link profile is 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 different as well it's improved so the internal of the chain is chamfered um just gives a bit s smoother running less wear and tear on the drivetrain but again just as you'd install any chain on a mountain bike Okay, so we're using this jig tool to set the B-screw on the bike to make sure that our derailleur position, the, the spacing between the cassette and the upper pulley. You can do this in a stand just to kind of roughly get it in the right position, but the key to it is actually doing it when you're sat on the bike. So when the bike sags, naturally the rear derailleur is going to be pulled forward because of the back of the bike getting a little bit longer on a full suspension bike. Right, okay. uh, and that's going to affect this position of the upper pulley as well. Right, okay. So right now, let's just get it roughly into the right position and then we'll index the gears and then we'll get back get it back on the bike so so you can see the distance now then between the line and there if i loosen this off that gap gets smaller and smaller right okay 
abilities. So those th those marks on the on the guide where they got to match the sprockets, the teeth on the sprockets. Yeah. So these are the the cassette tooth profile here. Yeah. But there's also a line that I've drawn. The the line is in there as well. I've just gone over it in black pen there just to right. show that's the closest point of where okay. the the tooth profile should come. So we're we're in the, pretty much the right position there, and I can just rotate that back just to check. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That looks cool. I'm just going to then have a look through my shifting to make sure that my limiting screws again set in the right position and then index my gearing up and down the cassette to make sure that I've got a full range of gears. Okay. So up onto the top. And this is setting, setting the B screw is super important on our Eagle drivetrain, as with any of our drivetrains. But what you'll notice if you look at the, the 50 tooth on here, um, there's an X Sync style profile. You have a a tooth profile that, met, that matches better with the chain itself. So getting the B-screw in the right position means that it sinks that better as the shift goes up, the chain's more secure, it's better, you know, and it'll run better 